Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sechamba Jacob. All right, so in today's video, we'll try to answer question two from the GCE 2021 paper two. So question two consisted of, uh, or consists, consists of uh, two, que uh, two questions, question A and B. A is on a quadratic equation, or B is on probability. So this is question A. The one I've just written here. So the first thing here was to put uh, this in standard form, whereby you needed to you needed to to multiply by x. Okay, we need we want to get rid of this x, so we're going to multiply everything by this x. So it will give us x squared plus five over x here, and there's x here when you multiply, which is equal to twelve. Uh, x okay so we're at this point where this and this will cancel will remain with x squared plus uh, 5 is equal to 12 x so now you can see that it has got power 2 which is the case with the uh, quadratic equations so we can now put it in standard form so it will look like this this is how it will look like all right, so at this point, we can now use the uh, quadratic uh, formula. So the quadratic formula goes like this. X is equal to uh, negative B uh, plus minus root of uh, B squared minus 4AC over 2A. So this is how the formula looks like. And uh, we'll take advantage of uh, this very formula. All right. So now, what is our a? So our a. Let me let me let me draw you back a little bit back. So this is our a, b, and c. Hopefully, you're able to see a, b, c. So what is our a in this case? Our a is uh, three. B is negative twelve. C is five. So now we can plug in. So here it will be negative 12. So this is where you need to be very careful. There is a negative already. The formula has got a negative at B here. And uh, the equation that we have, it has got a negative here at B, negative 12. So you must put it inside the brackets. So you say plus, minus, over here, inside the bracket, there will be negative 12. Okay. The reason why I'm putting the, the brackets is because at B here there is a negative. Uh, minus 4A is a 3 and a C is a 5. Over 2, our A there is a 3. So remember we are solving for, 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 for X. So here it will be 12 plus minus. Inside the root, we've, uh, we have... Uh, uh, when we punch this negative 12 squared minus 4 times 3 there times 5 there, we have 84. So inside the bracket here, we got 84. And down here, when we say 2 times uh, 3, it will be 6. Of which... When we work out things nicely, we have uh, 12 plus root of 84 over 6 or, or 12 minus root of 84 over 6 here. So we have these two things. And these are the values of x. So let's try to finalize here. So we say... 12 plus root of 84 it will give us 21.16515139 so you say divide by um, divide by 6 it's giving us uh, uh, x be equal to 3.53 so I've written this in uh, uh, two decimal places, okay? And then here we say 
12 minus root of 84 it's 2.83484861 you divide by 6 you have a o x is equal to 0 0.47 so these are the two values of uh, the asked question okay so we're done with question 2 a we now go to question 2 b okay so for question 2 b i'm just going to read the question for you i'm not going to display it here i'll read it so pay attention so that you can get the question so the question reads uh, a boy has a bag that's the question too a boy has a bag um, containing containing five this is very important five green five green ball okay balls one red ball and four blue balls so this boy had uh, a bag which contained uh, five green balls one red and uh, four blue balls so the first question goes draw a tree diagram to show all the possible outcomes so for the tree diagram i'm going to use black here so for the tree diagram you do this so this is what you do so this is for green g and r for red b for blue so now we need to show the probabilities here there are three things that we're dealing with there is green red and the blue balls so that's why there are these three tails so we need to show what probability of what's the probability of picking green so the probability of picking green will be 5 over 10 or because uh, 5 can go into 10 or 1 over 2 so it's 5 over uh, 10 or 1 over 2 so which one should we go with okay let me just go with 5 over 10 so that people don't get confused it's okay so how did i know that the probability of picking uh, green is 5 over 10 you just add these okay how many are they? 5 plus C, 1 plus C, 4. It's 10. So even here, the denominator will be 10. Over here, the denominator will be 10. Okay? So don't forget that the denominator will be 10. Oof, my, my marker is dying. Let me switch to, to red. Okay? So you can see I've put 10 here, 10 here, 10 as a denominator. So on top here, you put the number of the or the color of the ball or the number of that uh, color ball you are dealing with so in this case it's green green how many were they there are five here what are we supposed to put on top it's red how many red did we have one here blue how many four on top so you see the way it looks this is good so we now go in the second second uh, second uh, selection remember they said a ball is selected at random from the from the bag and not uh, replaced a second ball is then selected so now for the first ball for uh, first round of picking the balls these are the prob probabilities what we've just seen here probabilities so we try for the second it will just look the same so here the tails will just look the same they will be three so once you pick green you can pick green again, you can pick red, you can pick blue, okay? Even here, when you pick red, there's a possibility of you picking green in the second round, picking red, picking blue. Also here, almost the same, there is a probability of picking what? Green, red, and uh, blue there. So what you do here now is, since they said without replacement, you change the number which is down here because one one ball has already been picked it's out they were 10 altogether so you remain with nine so put a nine here nine here nine here nine here nine here nine here nine 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 okay 
hopefully it's making sense as your as your denominator so we have put the 99 as the, our denominator so if you picked green what is the probability of picking green again there were five greens here right so meaning you remain with four of them so the probability of picking green is four over nine they were you've picked green here what's the probability of picking red since it's green which was picked in the first round the second round it will maintain it is just one because it has it has not been picked yet so you have one over over nine what is the probability of picking blue it will be four over nine this four because it has not been picked you picked it green so this will maintain these numbers will maintain except green will be affected it was five it will be four what about here let's say you picked red what's the probability of picking green since it's red green will maintain it will be five over nine what's the probability of picking red red has already been picked mind you it was one ball and it has already been picked so what's the probability of picking red it's just a zero it has disappeared already they have picked they are there was a one ball and it has already been picked so you have zero over nine which is equal to zero here what's the probability of picking blue the probability of picking blue let me write it nicely here it will be four over nine because blue has not been picked yet so it will just be four over nine here it will be five over nine uh, because blue was picked the probability of picking uh, green when blue has already been picked it will maintain just five what about red it will maintain it will be one over nine what about blue you go now since it's blue see b b blue blue has already been picked if you want to pick it again like the chances of picking it again will be three over over nine so this is a trick diagram okay we are done with it, the tree diagram. This is how the tree diagram will look like. So now, the next question they are saying, find the probability that the two balls are of the same colors. So probability of the two balls are of the same colors. So same colors, we have green, green. So this is green, green. Uh, what else? Red, red. So red, red. Here, blue, 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 blue. So now we need to find these probabilities and add them. Green, green, red, red, and blue, blue. So probability of picking green, green. What's the probability of picking green, green? That will be 5 over 10 times 4 over 9, which is 2 over 9. Okay, so you say 5 over 10 multiplied by... 4 over 9, which is 2 over 2 over 9. So we are done. We come to this one. The probability of picking red in the first round, again, red, because they said yeah, same colors. Again, is just a 0, because it will say 1 over 10 multiplied by 0 in the second round. It will just be 0. What about the probability of picking blue, blue? So it will be 4 over 10 times 3 over 9, which will just be... 2 over 15. So now we'll say probability of picking uh, two balls of the same color, it will be G, G, which is green, green, okay, plus red, red, plus blue, blue. So what is the probability of picking green, green? We found 2 over 9 plus the probability of picking red is 0. Probability of picking blue blue it is 2 uh, over 15, which is equal to when we add, we we'll get uh, we we'll get uh, we we'll get 16.